ready? What up? Let's get to it. So the Minnesota Vikings versus the scandalous Chicago Bears. You know, some say this is a make or break game for the Vikings in their season. They're one in four. They lose to the Bears. They'll be one in five. Now, how do I feel about the game going in? I, I really truly feel like, and I hate to say it right now, but the Vikings might lose, man. <laughs> And if I have to absolutely just pick right now, I would say the Vikings are taking the L, baby. <laughs> I feel like the loss of Jettas, man, just the defense, the trenches, you know, how the, how the secondary has been playing, how Kirk has been playing. You know, they're going to be at, at Chicago, you know. <laughs> Chicago has the home field advantage. Their fans will have major energy. They're going to be celebrating Dick Buckus, rest in peace to him. You know, an NFL legend. The Bears coming off a big win. Justin Fields playing well. Seems like they're, you know, getting in their groove, putting him in better positions. And I just feel like what the Vikings have shown all season, they're always so close, but yet too far, man. And I just feel like right now with this moment, that's the identity they have taken, almost damn near have accepted. Now, of course, I... You know, I would love for them to beat the Bears. <laughs> I want the Vikings to win every game, right? Heavy. Of course you want to see your team compete, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sure they want to compete. You know, K KOC, Kevin O'Connell, Quazy, the players in the locker room, they don't have the spirit of um, just folding, giving in, not wanting to compete, giving up, like they've lost all hope. I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, what have they shown? They continue to beat themselves, shoot themselves in the foot, first off. Turnovers after turnovers, dog. Every game, every game this season, baby, week in, week out. They haven't protected the ball yet for a full game. They haven't even played their best football. Now, you tell me they go into, what, Soldier Field, no Jettas? With a Bears defense that's playing kind of solid. They're improving. So, man, I just, I just think it's a tough game. And what they've shown throughout the season, the close games, you know, they just can't pull it off. They can't be disciplined enough, right? We've seen it every week. Even with big plays, it's always some kind of stupid penalty from a lineman or a D-back or just something happens, right? Hold and fall start. That's the offensive side. Defense, you know, pass interference. Holding, just something happens. It's like they go into the game not fully zoned in. Now, whether that's on the coaches, and I feel like that's a major part, just them not being ready, maybe, not being fully focused. Like who else could who else could you put the blame on? I understand the players gotta show up and play their part and play it well, right? They gotta do their job too, but at the end of the day, it's on the head coach to have his team mentally ready and physically prepared for the task at hand. And the Vikings just haven't put their best foot forward all season. All season, bro. Now, do I want to see them tank or fold or give up on the season or lose on purpose? No, which I don't think they will do. But man, huh. yeah, I want them to win. I would love for them to make a run and compete. But do I see it happening? No, man. We're going to keep it real deal. I don't see it happening. I really feel like the Vikings will lose the next four. If I'm just being honest, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Score Vikes forever. But at the end of the day, it comes to a point. Yeah, you can give your team the benefit of the doubt. But what have they shown you? What have the Vikings shown you, baby, all season? Huh? They've shown you regression, dog. Huh? Setbacks. Soft players running around the field, making, committing turnovers, losing the ball, giving the ball up. You understand? So that's my point, man. But with that being said, yes, I want the Vikings to win. Think I want them to lose? Come on, bro. I ain't one of them fans saying tank for Caleb or lose for Caleb or quarterback. Now, if it happens, it happens. Right? And the trajectory they're going, it will happen. You understand? The schedule just, you know, gets tougher. 
It's, it's no let up, baby. Every week, competition, competition. They got the Niners coming up. A juggernaut, a true juggernaut, baby. <laughs> so you tell me, do you think the Vikings can make a run, especially without Jettas, their best player, the best receiver in the league? You think they can make a run the way they've been playing on both sides of the ball? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know and tell me your reason why. Heffy, big score. Let's talk about it. Fire them comments up. Fire them comments up, baby. But keys to victory. Yeah, major keys to victory. And every week is the same thing. It starts in them trenches. Defensive side of the ball, it's going to be a tough matchup. Last week they had Mahomes. Definitely a better quarterback than Justin Fields. But you got Fields, who's a better runner than Mahomes. <laughs> Which Vikings always have problems with quarterbacks who can scramble, get out the pocket, and make a play. We've seen that this year as well. Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts. They always allow that quarterback to get out the pocket somehow, make a big play. Even when they get their hands on him, yeah, they made the play. They had some sacks on Mahomes. Shout out to the trenches, D. Hunt, et cetera. But for the most part, scrambling quarterbacks get off against the Vikings. Every game they make big plays, right? Whether if it's escaping a sack, getting out the pocket, making a big throw, keeping the drive alive. We saw with Mahomes, yes, I'm going to keep talking about the Chiefs. Like I said, we saw with Mahomes, third and 18. Got them on lock, perfect blitz, and somehow they convert the first down. Cam Bynum, <laughs> missed times his jump. Some say, oh, it's football, it's part of the game. They just, they just didn't make the play at that moment, but do they ever make the play? That's why I asked, I made a video about it. Do Vikings players want to be great? Do they fear greatness? Are they, or are they incapable of making a big play, baby? Questions we have to start asking, bro. Like it or not. <laughs> you can say, oh, oh, you're disrespecting the players. You don't believe in the team. Kill that noise, cat, bro. If anybody believe in a team, ride with the squad. It's me, heavy. Even when I'm pissed off. <laughs> heavy, man. Period, bottom line. And if I do get worked up, it's because I want to see them boys win. They deserve to win. But the level, the way they've been performing the whole season, I don't see it, dog. <laughs> Especially with Jettas up out of there for four weeks. But major keys to victory, stop Justin Fields, contain Justin Fields. Trenches, apply pressure, apply immense pressure nonstop. They will have to slow down Justin Fields in that passing game, period. They will have to hit him in the mouth, be more physical, etc., etc. Also, when it comes to the run game, they got to be stout in the run. Yeah, they got to be stout in the run. And they're continuing to prove in that aspect. So I give them props for that. But they got to keep it going because, you know, Chicago, they're going to come out trying to play physical ball, run the ball, set up the play action, RPOs, etc. So we know what it is. Stop Justin Fields. Neutralize Justin Fields. Keep a spy on Justin Fields. Don't let him run around. Get out the pocket and make big plays, period. On third downs, third and longs especially, get your ass off the field. Heavy, period. Get off the field when you need to be off that field, baby. No debating. Now we talk about the right receivers. They got more. He had a breakout game, right? Everybody on his bandwagon. They're going to try to get the receivers involved. Oh, yes. They're going to get their receivers involved, baby. And the Vikings cornerbacks... They've been exposed. They have been exposed all season long, period. Got exposed last week, the previous week, et cetera, et cetera. No denying it. So can they elevate their game secondary once again? Can they be great? When they have an opportunity to make a big play, will they make the play? Or will they miss time to jump or let it slip out their hands, bat it in the air? Huh? That's the big question, man. Harrison Smith, can he perform at a high level every week and not just versus the bad teams? And as far as the stats, the record, PFF, the Bears are a bad team. But hey, are the Vikings a bad team? They're one and four as well. So is it two bad teams playing? 
the most most experts and analysts, well, some, maybe not now, but most people think the Vikings will get this dub. I don't think it will be easy, baby. If you're going by the records and stats, they're both bad teams playing, period. How can we say the Vikings are a better team or a good team right now with a one and four record? I just don't get it. Let's not be biased, baby. Let's be real. It's enough fake things around, you know, Minnesota concerning the Vikings. You know, fake media, fake fans, et cetera, et cetera, fake love, all that, baby. Period. So let's be real. I'm going to be real here. So two one and four teams, we're going to see who the worst team is. <laughs> That's just what it is. But secondary, can they step up? Can they do their job? Which they haven't done for most of the season. I don't care what nobody say. Uh, Caleb Evans, he can play better. Byron Murphy, play better, bro. Harrison Smith, Cam Bynum, which out of the whole secondary, Cam Bynum probably has uh, performed at the highest level. You know, he's probably looked like he's the most improved, especially at that safety position. But he can make more plays as well. He can contribute more. Heavy. Just what it is. And like I say, yes, he has a lot of tackles, but that's because the trenches have been piss poor. Of course, you're going to have a lot of tackles at the safety position when teams are getting, what, five, six yards a pop? Just what it is. In the past two games, they really went against what? Passing teams, or at least versus the Chiefs and the Chargers, the Panthers, we see who they who they are, who they were. Washed, <laughs> not a good team, bro. Got a rookie, young rookie, struggling quarterback. Respect to uh, Bryce Young, though, man. Roll time. But we see who the Panthers are, period. You saw what the Eagles did to them, and the Bears are going to try to get that run game going, too. They're a physical team, right? Period. So can the secondary be in tune with each other, be on the same accord, and put on a show and not let the Bears receiver just eat, eat, eat heavy all day, dog? <laughs> Understand? Brian Flores, will he change his schemes up, make the necessary adjustments, put the cornerbacks in bump and run? You saw it some a little bit last week versus the Chiefs. Even though they got beat, I feel like, you know, being up in a receiver's chest, being physical, Gives the cornerbacks more of an opportunity to be successful. But when they sit back five, ten yards off, they just get picked apart, man. Picked apart, especially if the pass rush isn't getting there. Just facts, man, heavy. So can the cornerbacks play good football? It's going to be a major key. Linebackers, we know what it is. Like I said about the trenches, get to, get to Justin Fields. It's going to be a spy on Justin Fields. Should be a spy on him every snap the whole game. Ivan Pace Jr., Jordan Hicks. We don't know what's going on with B.A., period. Where is B.A. once again? But Ivan Pace Jr., Jordan Hicks, they need to perform at a high level. Keep their eyes on Justin Fields, but also make plays in the run defensive game, pass game, right? Just what it is. Everybody got to play good football, Vikings football, period. That's what it comes down to, baby. Heavy. Now we go to the offensive side. O-line again. O-line again. Now as far as ranking stats, numbers, the O-line has been performing well. <laughs> but from the eye test, just watching them, if you watch every game, especially in pass pro, even in the run game, they, they can't seem to get the run game going, especially against elite linemen. Period. So they're going to have to start. It starts there. Run game, run game, sets up play action, right? The Vikings need to get the run game going to set up the play action, period. That's their strength on offense right now. And they're going to need it with Jettas being out. Hands down, man down, <laughs> period. Hopefully Cam Akers is the starter. Respect to Matty, but Cam Akers, he is the better running back, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree. So first off, run game starts with the O-line. O-line, be physical, be more physical. Pass protection, we know what it is every week. Keep Kirk upright, protect Kirk. Protect Kirk Cousins. But at the end of the day, Kirk Cousins, it won't always be perfect, bro. So that's the narrative again. Can Kirk Cousins ever buy some time? Can he evade pressure? Can he get out the pocket, right? He's had 
opportunities to run, gain the first down, gain some yards, and he decides to throw it away or throw it for an incomplete pass. Hey, Kirk Cousins, it's not illegal to run, bro. <laughs> you are allowed to run if you can, bro. Take off sometimes, Kirk Cousins. Help your old line. Be more aware in the pocket. The pocket will not always be perfect. That's not reality. It's not realistic. This is the NFL, bro. You're going to get hit in the mouth. You're going to have pressure applied. So can Kirk help his O-line out? Now, the O-line needs to do their job, be solid, stand firm, protect their quarterback for majority of the game, right? But at the end of the day, Kirk going to have to help them out. Bottom line, it is what it is. So can Kirk step up and can the O-line step up? Because you know the Bears, just like every other team, will bring that pressure. Period. They're going to bring that pressure all game. That is Kirk Cousins' crip tonight. <laughs> and everybody knows it. Every team knows it, baby. They're going to come at him. So the O-line, <laughs> major key, major key. Protect Kirk Cousins at all costs. We talked about the run game, ride receivers, and put. This is the perfect opportunity. What everybody was talking about, you see Brandon Powell talk about it, Jordan Addison. You know what I mean? How it's everybody has an opportunity to step up, show who they are as receivers, elevate their game, help out their team, go put on a show, really prove it's not all about Jettas. <laughs> which I don't see him doing that. But, hey, I'm rooting for the guys. I'm rooting for them. I hope they perform well. I hope they can hold up their end of the ball again. Get a victory. Compete. Play. Play good football. Prove you can win without Jettis. Prove you can win without your best player, right? That's a plus for them. That helps them. It is what it is, baby. What, what a perfect opportunity. And we've I've talked about it all week. Jordan Addison, Brandon Powell, KJ Osborne, TJ Hawkinson. All those guys can step up. Who's going to be the one to step up for real, man? Show that they belong. Can they get a win, get a victory? Right? Get yards, make a play without Jettis being on that field, without him being a distraction, without all eyes being on Jettis for once. So we're going to see what this receiving core is made of. Who's really a one? Who's really a two? Who's really a three, baby? <laughs> very intriguing. Very exciting as well. I'm here for it, though. But those, those are the major keys, man. That's it. But those are the major keys. Heavy, man. It is what it is. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about it. You agree or disagree? <laughs> Feedback is much appreciated. Big skull here, man. Shout out all my big dogs, my subscribers, my supporters. You are much appreciated for life. Never forget it. I'm at 1,500 plus subscribers. Much appreciated, baby. Let's get it to 2,000 heavy. Understand? Before the end of the season, baby. Rock with me. Let's get it, man. Support the channel for real. Support the grind. <laughs> Score Vikes forever. Woo! <laughs>